read between the lines. You need to be a critical thinker. They are establishing an antichrist system in the world. They are dismantling America because out of its ashes will rise the phoenix of the new world order. They are dismantling America also while clearly establishing who the enemies are. Now, isn't it just interesting that today, right now, the far left's enemy is the same ultimate enemy of the Antichrist, Christians. And that is why I believe many under the far left, uh, uh, you know, that are part of the far left are operating under the Antichrist spirit. And, and, and they're building a, a united global world for the son of perdition to rule over a sovereign for a short time. It actually says in Revelation 13, it says this, also it was allowed to make war on the saints and to conquer them. Okay? It was allowed to make war on the saints and to conquer them. That's talking about the beast government. The go I mean, just think about that. The government of the world, the government will wage war on Christians on the earth. War, war on Christians. The world government will according to Revelation 13, and their crime, worshiping God, Jesus being their Lord and Savior, being Christ-like, not affirming their darkness, war because of it. These types of things don't happen overnight, though. The descent will be, oh, this is important. Oh, this is important. The descent will be cultivated strategically over years towards the people of God. And we're seeing that now. I'm going to show it to you. Uh, I can actually even show you. I, I had a little section in, in my notes, a little history lesson. Tell me how this doesn't happen overnight. It's just the little seeds that are planted. You see, during the early 1930s, at the time of the Nazi rise to power, Germany was experiencing great economic and social hardships. The country had to pay enormous compensation to the Allies, as a result of losing World War I, they had to adhere to the Treaty of Versailles, whereby they could no longer have a large army and had to give up land. They experienced severe inflation and economic instability, experienced great unemployment. So what did Hitler do? Hitler used the Jews as a scapegoat, blaming them for Germany's economic and social problems. The Nazi party promised to resolve these issues and in 1932 won 37% of the vote. The Nazis would use propaganda campaigns to promote the party's hatred of Jews. It took 10 years, roughly. 10 years of propaganda. It started out as little seeds scattered here, scattered there. And as the hatred began to grow, it was, and it was fostered with great care, once the brainwashing was complete, many regular German citizens were totally okay with the government's attempt at totally exterminating a race of people. But it took time, it did, some time. So when, when, when Revelation 13 says, and put that up on the screen, when Revelation 13 says, also, it was allowed to make war on the saints and to conquer them. Understand that it will take time. But as that day approaches, you should be able to see the seeds being scattered throughout, making Christians out to be the enemy. But it will start with conservatism, which is rooted ultimately in the word. Yeah. It'll start there and then it'll move to their ultimate enemy, <coughs> being the body of Christ. The Jews, the Jews, six million of them were killed. Three million Christians were killed. World War II was fought between the years of 1941 and 1945. Let's just say for a moment, you had, you had access to a time machine and you were able to go back 20 years and you were able to find a couple of young adults that would later become Nazi soldiers in the death camps who would throw Drew, Jews, would throw Christians, men, women, little children, even babies into the ovens, into the gas chambers. You find those guys 20 years early, earlier and I tell them to do something like that 
or if they would even like to do something like that, I bet you that they would have been absolutely appalled yeah. that I was a psychopath. No one is capable of such evil, at least not in Germany, because it doesn't happen overnight. Yeah. It's the seeds of the cultivation of Jews are bad, Christians are bad. I mean, this is what was taking place in Germany. And it's going to happen again with Christians. Article, evangelicals resist, oh, it actually says white evangelicals because you got to put CRT in there too. Yeah. Because that's a part of the culture of Germany. So well, we're not talking about CRT. So I mean, white evangelicals, but it's evangelicals resist COVID-19 vaccine, most among religious groups. It's Christian. So, so who's the enemy? Who's, who is causing the, the vaccine or, 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 or COVID not to die? It's those evangelicals. Yeah. And let's go ahead and tack on white evangelicals too. Cause you know, we'll, we're going to go ahead and, and destroy, you know, the culture hegemony, you know, in our minds as well. This is Marxism, yeah. but it's the Christians. It's the evangelicals. Headline, white supremacist ideas have historical roots in U.S. Christianity. U.S. Christianity is bad. It's yeah. evil. It's the seeds being scattered. Mm -hmm.